Hello friends, did you know there is another way to generate AI art images? It's called StyleGAN and it's different to Latent Diffusion. I'm going to show you something really cool now. So this is something called Drag Your GAN, which is built upon the StyleGAN way of generating images. And as you can see here, you have an input image and you can set a point and then make that image drag while changing the image. So here we have some cars changing. And here's a horse changing the legs there and the head. And the changing the pose of the cat and the eyes, closing the right eye there. So let's have a quick look here. This is Drag Your GAN, interactive point-based manipulation on the generative image manifold. Sounds kind of advanced, right? So what you have here is you have an image input and then you have a user input and the user input in this case is you pointed at you take in the red here the two points and drag one of them up and one of them down that way opening the jaws of the lion and in the second image here you're taking the nose of the lion and pointing that towards the right direction basically changing the face of the lion and in the example of the cat here just as we saw quickly in the video the points are here dragged together to close this eye, however, keeping this eye static. In the same way here, they're changing the, the angle of the car by basically rotating a still 2D image. How cool is that? And in this example with the mountains here, they're dragging it, making it taller. Let's look at the example with the elephant here. So they take a point here and it places this on the hoof for the, the leg and it moves it backwards and the body adjusts with it and this is just truly mind-blowing how amazing it is this now i think i'm not sure yet but i think this is only available right now on style gan generated images i saw some mentions that it could be used on other images as well but if you're thinking oh, when can I see this inside Automatic 1111 and my Stable Diffusion? Well, I'm going to disappoint you. You will not be able to do that in some time. But then again, that's what we said about every new thing lately. And then the next week you can use it. However, style GANs and Latin Diffusion image generation is vastly different. And Automatic 1111 is built upon Stable Diffusion and Latent Diffusion, which is, again, different. Here you can see they're moving the trunk of this baby elephant, and the image adjusts accordingly. I just love this. And they said in the post that the code will be... Well, actually, we can see here on the official GitHub, code will be released in June. Let's look at some of the other examples, see what we got here. Now, this is a pretty cool one. So... This is a human model. We have this woman here. This could be a photo from an online store, for example. And I say this could be a real world usage. So here they have drag a point on the skirt here and basically elongating the skirt. And it actually it looks very realistic. Here they're moving the feet and everything just adapts accordingly. Now they're moving the arm down. Oh, it's actually changing the, the blouse or the shirt there. This is fantastic. You think you've seen it at all? Well, we've learned by now that uh, we haven't seen it all because uh, the AI space keeps changing and changing and we get to see these new fantastic improvements and stuff all the time. So I'm not surprised that we get to see something like this, but it would be really nice to be able to try it, to be honest. And I hope it will be able to do very soon. So here they're even changing the arm. And actually, as you can see, the hand here adapts and looks pretty good as well. See, they're trying to make this dress shorter. Very cool. What else we got here? So we got some cars, 
got stuff under a microscope. This doesn't seem to be loading. Let's check the car here, see what we can do with that. So here they're setting a point at the tire or the rim here. And they're gonna make that wider, but that's basically, ang it looks like, first it looks like it was gonna angle it a little different. Now it just makes it weirdly bigger. So they're changing the latent number. Okay, so they changed the image. The first one didn't turn out great. Here they're lo lowering the roof. Actually turn into a cab, a convertible of sorts. See what happens here. So now they're changing the angle of the image. So instead of having like a 3D image here, you could have a 2D image and basically rotate it. I mean, this is simple as of now, but just see the potential in it. This is truly fantastic. And this is a minor change, but you can see it's getting smaller here, a little bit at a time, taking a lot of steps here. I wonder how much it will um, use when it comes to hardware. Wow, just wow. Let's look at this microscope as well. So this is some sort of a uh, well, it's not maybe not a cell, but probably a biologist or someone can chime in and tell us what it is. Let's say it's a cell for now, some sort of organism. Well, as I'm not understanding really what it is, this looks more like a cell. I'm more into tech and art than I am by biology, so I can't make a judgment on this one here. So, what did you think of Drag Your Gan? Let me know in the comments below. This was just a quick look at uh, the new fantastic AI tech that gets. Uh, released every day. I hope you're having a great day and I'll see you in the next video. You have a good one now. See ya.